At 11, the city of Toledo looking at bringing in help to stop all of the gun violence. It is called Cities United. And while it's not here yet, Chase Bachman explains why city leaders are optimistic about this. Chase? Well, Mel, the program works with local organizations to help prevent gun violence. And by the show of tonight's turnout at the meeting, people want things to change. We know what the definition of insanity is. So we can't keep doing the same. Toledoans are willing to try anything to stop gun violence in the community. Dozens of people packed Toledo City Council chambers and listened as leaders introduced Cities United. We're trying to shift our conversation around what public safety really is and get cities to really invest in a holistic approach to public safety and community violence prevention. Cities United has worked with dozens of cities across the country, including Columbus and Cleveland. Their team connects other local groups and initiatives to work together. Mayor Wade Kapsikavich says the work leads to fewer shootings and says what's been done in other cities is impressive. And Cities United was an organization that has been so successful in so many other cities um, that we felt it made some sense to bring them to Twitter. Cities United also looks at the budget and suggests where cuts can be made and where more funding could help programs reach the people most at risk. The city's budget does include police. We have researched it literally in all 130 of those cities. The police budget has increased. So whatever this is, it is not, it has nothing to do with that silly rhetoric. And the city is working out an exploratory phase with that organization right now. No contract is settled on yet. Reporting live in downtown Toledo, Chase Bachman, WTOL 11. WTOL 11 also asked the representatives from Cities United what types of programs his group has recommended elsewhere and what worked. He pointed to multiple examples similar to Toledo Save Our Community and Violence Interrupters, and the mayor said those programs would continue here if the city chooses to work with Cities United.